All right, boys and girls, lesson 36. We are two away from the end of the module. You will notice we are multiplying two digit by two digit numbers using four partial products because we're not going to be using just simple tens. Sorry, that's all done. All right, let's go ahead and get started. This first question. Mr. Groggins set up 30 rows of chairs in the gymnasium, which is a gym, by the way. If each row had 35 chairs, how many chairs did Mr. Groggins set up? Draw an area model to solve. Well, I'm imagining that you have an area model in your head. Let's see if it looks like mine. <gasps> hey, is that what yours look like? All right, what we're going to do is we're going to break up our 30 rows and our 35 chairs. 30 is our easy 10, so of course it goes on our left side. All right. If I put our 30 on our left side, and I take our 35 and I break it up into 30 and 5, I can use unit form to work this out. 30 times 30, because that's area. Unit form is, you got it, 3 tens times three tens, which gives me a nice fancy nine, oh, I hope you didn't say tens, hundreds, or 900. If we do the area of this rectangle, we have 30 times five, which is the same as saying three tens times five, which is the same as saying 15 tens, which of course is the same as saying 150. If I add those two together, I get 1050. And Michael right now is yelling at me because I did not write an answer statement. I'm sorry, Michael. Uh, Mr. Groggins, you are totally right, Michael. Needs to set up 1,050 chairs. Poor Mr. Groggins. All right. If I were to do this another way, I could use the distributive property. And my friends, that is what we are working on next. All right, so here we have Mr. Groggins, who originally had 30 rows by 35 chairs. Well, guess what? We're now going to add in four rows. How would that look? Go ahead and take a peek in your brain and see if you can figure out what that area model looks like. Did it look like that? Well, if it didn't, that's okay. We're going to put up our original 30 rows by 35 chairs. 30 rows, 35 chairs. This top row, or this top part of our area model, is going to be the additional four rows. So this is no different, it's just a distributive property. We've broken down the 35, and now we've broken down the 30 plus 4, which is 34. We're going to use our length times width to measure 4 times 30, and that is 4 1s times 3 tens. We're going to do the same thing for our smaller rectangle, which is 4 times 5, or four ones times five. I could say five ones, but I don't need to. Let's do our area model for the next, which is 30 times 30. In unit form, it's three tens times three tens. And then our last rectangle, 30 times five, or three tens times five tens. Now to use a distributive property, it would look like this. We have our 34 times 35, and we broke it down into 4 times 30, right there. 4 times 5, right there. 30 times 30, right there. 30 times 35, right there. If I were to solve each of these, 4 1s times 3 tens is 12 tens. 4 times 5 is 20. Three tens times three tens is nine hundreds. And three tens times five is fifteen tens. If I added all those together, I would get 140 
plus 1050, which equals 1,190. Now there is another way to do this, and it's called partial products. And that's what we're going to move into next. We're going to use a distributive property to solve this problem using our area model. So here's our area model. We'll break up our 23 and our 31. 23 broken to 20 and 3. 31 broken to 30 and 1. Multiplication, 3 times 30. Unit form, 3 ones times 3 tens. Next one, rectangle, 3 times 1 gives me the area, or 3 ones times 1. Next rectangle is 20 times 30, length times width of this rectangle. Unit form, 2 tens times 3 tens. And then our last rectangle, we have 20 times 1, or 2 tens times 1. Again, our distributive property looks like this. 23 times 31, and we broke up each piece. 3 times 30 is here, 3 times 1 is here, 20 times 30 is here, and 20 times 1 is there. Now I told you we could do it a different way. That way is partial products. Here is our problem set up vertically. And what I'm going to say to myself is I'm going to say 1 times 3 ones is 3 ones. 1 times 2 tens is 2 tens or 20. Now is where it gets tricky. Listen to my words. Where is this 3? What place? Yes, in the tens place. 3 tens times 3 ones is 9 tens which is 90. It's not just 9. You have to say unit form. All right, and our last one is 3 tens times 2 tens, which gives me 6 hundreds. If I add them all up, 3 plus nothing is 3. 9 plus 2 is 11, which I can't put in one spot, so it's 1 and I had to bundle 10, so I carry that one over. 6 plus 1 is 7. So I should have my answer as 713. Let's see if we agree. 3 times 3 tens is 9 tens. 3 times 1 is 3. 2 tens times 3 tens is 6 hundreds. 2 tens times 1 is 20. If I add it all up, I get 690, 700, 710, 713. They match.